It's Saturday, July 5th. Rika's coming over to study with me today. She doesn't know where I live, so I'm waiting for her at the spot where our paths diverge when we walk home from school. We are not going on a date, but I'm still meeting up with my girlfriend. I fixed my hair and put on decent looking clothes and I've showed up 10 minutes before the time we agreed on. <laughs> Rika's already there waiting for me. Her expression lights up a bit when she sees me. Morning, Rika. Sorry, did you wait long? Not at all. In fact, I was crazy excited on my way here, cause I knew I'd get to see you. Her neatly braided hair swings in her embarrassment. Rika's outfit is as cute as ever, but I spot one thing that's different from usual. You're wearing it? It's the necklace I gave her as a present. The moonstones glimmer at the base of her neck. Thanks, I'm happy you are treasuring it. I'm so glad I bought it for her. Well, there's no point in just standing here, so let's get going. I hold out my hand to her and she happily takes it. We are almost at my place. We are walking toward my house. It'd be quicker and more efficient to take the bus, but we've chosen to just enjoy this for longer. We walk past Shinozaki's house and the outer gates of my house come into view. Here we are, welcome to the Hino household, though it's just a normal new house. She's staring up at my house intently. I don't think it's that unusual of a design. No, my dad still can't really seem to wrap up his work over in Kanagawa, so it'll be just us today. Ah, right. I get it now, it's not that my house is interesting, she was nervous. It'll be just us, but uh, I won't suddenly try any funny stuff or anything. Huh? huh? I thought you were worried about something like that, was I wrong? <laughs> Oh, oh, really? Hearing her say it out loud is making me embarrassed too. Yeah, I remember I was crazy nervous the first time I went to Rika's house. You sure? Like here? Huh? I could totally hear you talking to herself, you know. Huh? At any time. Yes, you're very correct. It's pretty rough hearing that it's fine one moment and not fine the next. I really want to kiss her, you know. I swallow down my desires and let Rika in. My room's right upstairs. She has ground beef, shrimp, onions, carrots and bread crumbs in her large bag. The ingredients for the ground beef, steak, etc. that I requested yesterday. I'll show you the kitchen first then. I haven't really paid much attention to it, but my mom was apparently on top of things for it when we were building the house. You can use anything you want here when you're cooking. Thank you. 
Rika's looking dumbfoundedly at the contents of the fridge. That's from when I made okonomiyaki the other day. That's probably cause I forgot to put it away and left it out overnight. Isn't it the same no matter where you put it? それぞれのスペースで食材を管理する温度が違うのよ。これでどうやって今まで一人暮らししてきたの？I just made rice and then figured it out from there。食に対して大雑把というか、もう男の子ってみんなこうなのかしら。ちゃんと食べなきゃダメよ。You kind of like a mom, Marika. Ugh, I meant, I meant it as in your good at home stuff. You know, like you'd make a good bride someday. She blushes and places the ingredients into the mostly empty fridge. Let it be helpful. There is a limit to how much I can accomplish by just looking off of cookbooks and websites. This is my first time inviting a girl into my room at all, much less a girlfriend. I vacuumed it this morning, opened the windows to ventilate and prepared the cushion for Rika to sit on too. Rika sits down on the cushion at the glass table and stares right at me. Kinda too intently. Uh, something on my face? You can just relax. Think of it as your own room. Uh, oh, I see. What does that smell like? I'm curious, since it doesn't seem like she dislikes it. I don't really know what I smell like, though. Hmm, that it smells like you, I guess. でしょ。でもね、あなたの匂いに包まれてると <laughs> the way she giggles is so cute! I lean over the glass table and place my hands on her shoulders. Chew! <laughs> Now's fine, right? No one's watching. I'll make up for it in effort once we are done kissing. All right, I'm pumped. Let's do this. <laughs> I maintained above average grades before transferring here, so I just had her teach me the types of questions and structures the exams tend to have at our school. 
I'm glad there don't seem to be too many differences between the schools, though there are a few things. I think I'll be able to at least avoid failing at this rate. Rika made a ground beef steak meal with fried eggs and shrimp for lunch and we had a good time grocery shopping afterward. Rika even made me dinner afterward. What the heck? This is amazing! She fried a thin layer of egg, cut it into thin slices and mixed it together with finely chopped red pickled ginger. It's simple, but it's absolutely delicious on rice. It's easy to make and I could probably eat this every day. Sounds like a lot of work thinking up a meal every day, even if I do get good at cooking. I wonder if that day will ever come. Man, I wouldn't have to worry about that if you could just come over every day. Oh, I realize I've said something embarrassing. I look toward Rika, and as expected, she's bright red. Oh, uh, that was kind of a slip of the tongue, or... She glares at me. No, it doesn't. I want that to happen in the future someday, of course, but it's like we're still students, so it's a bit early. We've only just started dating, so I think it'd be nice if we could think about stuff like that from now on. What I mean is, uh... I'm starting to lose track of what I'm trying to say. <laughs> oh, did you try it? Yeah. This is making me blush a bit. Hey Erika, wanna go on a date after exams? We haven't gone on a proper one since we started dating, right? <laughs> it's a date then. Ugh, but after exams. That's a ways off. Our final exams start the day after tomorrow on Monday and end on Friday. Which means our date would be in a week. Saving the fun for later has got a nice ring to it, but I also want to go on a date right away. Hmm? What? My eyes go wide from how sudden it is. Yeah. I've got to get good grades now. I'm more motivated than ever before to study. It's Monday, July 7th. <sighs> Tired. I studied together with Rika again yesterday and did some last minute studying after I walked her home too. I guess that must have led to me not getting a full night of sleep. But after a little bit my consciousness sharpens. I can't imagine not getting a good score at this point. Half of it's me trying to talk myself into it, but the other half is actual confidence. I guess it really is true that getting a girlfriend gets you more motivated. I need to do my best to end up with results I can be proud of, so it was worth it for Rika to help me out with studying. Hmm? Who's here this early? Yes, I'm coming! What? There's an unexpected person displayed in the intercom monitor. Morning, Rika. What are you doing here this early? Forget something here yesterday? Mm. Nope, just woke up. 
Wait, seriously? Oh yeah, I might have forgotten to charge my phone last night. Smart phones are convenient, but they go through battery real quickly. Rika's got her student bag as well as the same tote bag that she brought with her when she made me food the other day. You didn't ask me if I ate yet, cause... I'm totally fine with it, but why? Yeah, I wouldn't be able to help with the committee if I did end up getting failing grades. She puffs up her cheeks a bit sulkily. Yeah, I want to have lots of fun with you too. Anyway, come in. Rika swiftly puts an apron on and starts pulling ingredients out from her bag. Sure thing, thanks. Knowing that my girlfriend's here to make me breakfast when I usually have to do that myself fills my heart. I'm the happiest guy in the world. I head to the bathroom as I begin to hear the sound of a kitchen knife knocking against a cutting board. Oh, I haven't seen a breakfast this impressive in a while. <laughs> My lovely girlfriend smiles happily from across the table. There's grilled fish, miso soup, boiled okra, freshly cooked rice. It all smells so good. Even just the miso soup's got a ton of stuff in it. Pork, carrots, daikon, cabbage, seaweed, tofu, with a delicate sprinkling of green onions on top. Didn't this take you a while? She says it like it's easy, but it must be pretty hard. Even one thing at a time is a lot of work for a cooking beginner like me. I'm the luckiest guy in the world to get to eat this nice of a breakfast. Let's eat! Hot! Thanks. Gulp, gulp. Phew. I chill the burning parts of my mouth. Yeah, since I don't have to take the time to make breakfast now, I'll take my time and savor your cooking, Rika. Her face disappeared. That was strange. We sit back and enjoy Rika's cooking, and I do the cleanup. I have a lot more time to get ready for school, too. Rika, I'll lock up, so you step out first. Rika starts to put her shoes on, apparently notices something, and then comes back to me. Oh, sure. Rika wraps her slender, pretty fingers around my necktie. We are pretty much right up against each other. I can even see her eyelashes in full detail when I look down. This is the way my dad taught me. I didn't think girls would know how to tie one, though. Middle school Rika, huh? I'm interested. I feel a slight tightening around my neck. The comfortable pressure makes me tilt my neck more upright. 
It's just about right. Thanks, and... Her nice smell and soft warmth awaken a slight hunger in me. I was thinking maybe I could get a kiss for the road. Kiss? Guess that's a no then. Huh? She closes her eyes and awaits a kiss. I hold her tight. I'm going. Choo! Ah, I get what you're saying. I close my eyes. Have a good day. Ah, my girlfriend, so cute. No, no, I've got exams starting today. I gotta put my all into it. I'm done checking the stove and such. The air conditioning and lights are off. I lock the door after the final check and step outside. <laughs>